Greetings, POS 345, Ethics and Leadership, Section 2, NDU, Fall Semester 2015-2016. This is a brief introduction or explanation for the homework, which will be due uh, today, Thursday, after the class. What you did for the Tuesday class was to look at the various methods that were used in the video on Malaysia to combat uh, corruption, a, a businessman decides to be 100% honest. How did he approach it? Did it work and will this work for Lebanon? Uh, I'm very thankful that most of you submitted your homework on time. Uh, that will be graded and will be given back to you next week. For today, Thursday, you have three reading assignments, a uh, seven-page article by Mullane uh, on sports and politics, ethics and leadership, and then two very brief uh, articles from the Initiatives of Change website, one of them from a project at our own uh, university at NDU. So what, what I'd like you to do for today, you've, al you've already read your homework, uh, so uh, the Four dilemmas that we discussed, we, we all, already discussed this in class, the difference between good, good dilemmas and bad, good dilemmas. For example, smoking. Smoking is bad, not smoking is good. Cognitively, it's in our brains it's easy to know what is the right thing to do. <clears throat> the difficult thing is how to do it. And we all know, uh, and I've done this, I did this actually eight times until I finally quit smoking, we make the decision, we know what's the right thing to do, we have a hard time doing it. We'll be discussing that in a moment. What characteristics do you need as an individual and what characteristics do you need as a leader in order to then carry out your decisions once your dilemma, you've dissolved your dilemma, or you've made a decision one way or the other. So, the uh, Susan Mullane quotes Kidder uh, and describes four paradigms or four basic good, good dilemmas. Both results are good, which makes it much more difficult. The first one is loyalty versus honesty. Should I be loyal to my boss? Should I be loyal to my organization when I know they're doing something wrong? Or should I tell the truth? Most of you have been confronted with this, with this in some way or another. There's something going on, but you want to remain quiet because you're loyal to the group. Uh, but honesty would be the better option. So both of them are good. Which one do you choose? The second one is justice versus mercy. Should I abide by the rules or should I have mercy on the individual? For example, a professor catches a student cheating. The student has quote unquote good reasons to cheat because he or she needs to graduate for family reasons in order to go to the Gulf and find a job. But this is cheating. Should we show mercy on the student or should just prevail and the student should get an F and have to repeat the semester. Individual versus community. We talked about this before. Individualism, very much a French, British, American concept. The individual is the most important unit in society versus community, which would be the family, the religious group. I choose, for, I choose to support the one, I choose to support the other. Both are good, good, good dilemma. And finally, Short-term, long-term. Smoking would be an example here. Short-term, I enjoy smoking. Short-term, I enjoy eating a big meal, certain foods. Long-term, it's dangerous for me. Or ethical behavior in general. Short-term, cheating in business, cheating in politics, cheating as a student. Short-term, it's good. I have a profit. I succeed. Long-term, it can be bad for you. So, these are the four dilemmas. They're difficult in themselves because good, bad dilemmas are easy to de decide upon. It's hard to do it. Good, good dilemmas, it's hard to decide what to do. Once you've decided what to do, which character, characteristic, which character attributes do you need to actually succeed? And here's, here's where the second two articles come in. Um, inner and Outer Journey. Uh, where you're also, you also also notice that uh, 
that Wadia Kuri from uh, Sakhle, who is uh, mentioned in an interview, uh, is, is cited in the article, uh, plays a role in personal development in order to be a leader in change. And the second one is building networks, a leadership youth and leadership training program that was carried out here at NDU. So what, would I, what I want you to do is to take those second two articles which give us some indication what kind of person can succeed in carrying out or implementing, executing ethical decisions. So first article, the dilemmas and how do you decide. Second, what kind of characteristics do you need? And I want you just to reflect on those two. I want a half a page per person reflecting on the four dilemmas and linking them to the qualities that you need to succeed. Please go over this. This will be due by Friday, Friday evening. Please send it to me to my NDU email uh, and I'll be handing this back to you next week in class. Uh, I'll be returning uh, from the United States where I'm at a conference on uh, international uh, human rights practices at the University of Dayton and I wish you a good day. Greetings from Lancaster, Pennsylvania. See you next week.